I think we can all agree that 2020 has been pretty much crap. I've gotten one thing accomplished so far this year, and we're sitting in it right now. So before I show you the finished product, let's do a quick montage of the process it took to get here. Quite a while now, I've been wanting a place to film videos, edit videos, and as of late, smoke cigars. And I've been kicking this around for a couple of years now, actually, with, but just haven't really put much thought into it. I didn't really know where I was going to put it. So that kind of held me up. I thought about the block building, but I didn't want to use space in there. I thought about my spare bedroom, but then I'd be a one bed, two bath, and that doesn't work. So I settled in the basement. That's where we are right now. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you'll know that the basement was crap. There was mold and scorpions and old paint cans and just crap down here. The ceilings are really low. It's really skinny. I didn't, couldn't really use it for anything else. So why not build a cigar lounge down here? Slash man cave. All right, so the room we're sitting in here is small. This basement was tiny. The finished room is 8 foot 6 wide by 10 foot 2 long. Plus the stair build out takes away about 12 square feet. It's pretty cozy, but I didn't really need a huge room. Just something to sit, something that was functional. I'd get a couple people down here, hang out. Just maybe watch some TV, smoke some cigars. So as you saw in the montage, I did all steel stud construction down here. I've taken water in the basement. I don't mean feet. Just, just a little bit of water and I've since rectified the situation outside I think but just in case I went ahead and steel stud framed the whole thing and the bottom 32 inches of the walls is covered in dura rock instead of sheet rock that way if I do for some reason take water got to peel the panel off pull the dura rock off put new dura rock on maybe new Wayne's coat I don't know but I don't have to get into taping and, and mudding and all that I wanted kind of a I don't know if you say rustic color, but kind of a speakeasy, a little darker kind of color. I picked this Chipotle red. Also, all the trim above the chair rail, I painted the same color as the walls. I didn't want it standing out. The doors are the same color, everything's the same color, so that it draws your eyes to the, to the attributes of the room, like the pictures and the humidor that'll be in here, whatnot. That's why it's all the same color. If you 
If you really want to look, you can see the trim. It looks nice, the crown molding and everything, but it doesn't stand out. That was what I was going for. Since this part of the house, this basement and this part of the house is an addition onto the original house, they couldn't dig right up next to the footer, so they had to put a step in the foundation wall. I took advantage of that, and I was able to put two 12-inch deep, 12-inch tall standard wall cabinets and uh, inset them into the wall. They're 30 inches wide. They just provide a little storage, and they kind of break up the monotony of that wall over there. Those are a nice addition. I have crap already stored in them, lighters, and, and just extra stuff. A couple things that are a necessity in a man cave slash smoking lounge um, are mini fridge and humidor. I built the build outs for both of those and the humidor, I had a pre-built model in mind but I think I'm gonna go ahead and build my own and make it fit in that opening. Right now I have just a kind of off the shelf model, if you will, small. And the mini fridge is a just happened to be a impulse buy when I was at Home Depot about four years ago found them for half price and it's actually a wine chiller so I bought it it's been sitting up there in the spare bedroom for four years I finally have a use for it I get it out of the box find out why it's half price glass and the door is broken it's been smashed somehow stainless steel frame was bent but it was only broken in the inside pane so it's still functional I only keep it on the lowest setting and I'll take it to a glass shop get it fixed shouldn't be a big deal Worst case, I gotta go buy another one. Arguably the most important attribute of a smoking lounge, especially when it's in your house, but really anywhere, is the exhaust system. <clears throat> How do you get the smoke out? And when the room is in your house, it's even more important because I like the smell of cigars, but I don't wanna go to bed at night and have that smoke in my sheets and in the carpet. It's just, it's no good. So. I spent some time and figured out what I needed to do in here. I bought a six inch duct fan on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description as well as a link for all the things I bought on there. So it's an eight speed unit with a corded remote. On high setting, it moves just over 400 cubic feet per minute, which is almost eight times what a normal household bathroom fan will do. So it really gets to cooking. And I, when I smoke a cigar in here, I only need it at three or four, level three or four, and it's it keeps everything clear. It's running on four right now and it's totally clear in here. To complement the fan and ensure good airflow, good cross flow in here, I built a filter rack into the wall next to the mini fridge and that basically allows air to be pulled in from the rest of the basement, go through a filter, move past the mini fridge and into the room and then cross flow into the exhaust vent which is diagonal. Now I put one of those high dollar filter, about a $20 filter in there that picks up mold and all kinds of other things. Just in case there's nasty stuff still on the other side of the wall, it'll at least slow most of it down. And the final major piece for the air system is the Rabbit Air Purifier. It's kind of the centerpiece of the room, if you will. Uh, I bought this unit from Alec Bradley. It's made by Rabbit Air, uh, but Alec Bradley had a better price on it, direct for some reason. So I went ahead and bought that. It's great, it's automatic. Um, it has several modes, but I run on auto all the time. That way when it senses cigar smoke or any kind of dust or anything in the air, it automatically ramps up to the level it needs to purify the air. And as soon as it's clean, runs it back down. It's a five or seven stage filter, including a carbon filter, so it gets rid of odors, especially designed for cigars, basically. They have several different um, filter kits that you can get. I got, of course, I got the one for cigars. As far as decor goes, as, as I was talking about earlier, I was trying to kind of go for a, I don't know if I can say rustic, but a, but an old kind of a speakeasy environment. I put the door hatch on so that I can look who's coming down the stairs when they're coming, even though I'll probably never use it. It's just a kind of a fun touch and it, and it gives it that that rustic look. When you're standing outside, it reminds me of the movie Rounders, when they're sitting outside Teddy KGB's place, waiting to get in, and they got the little slot in the door. That speakeasy hatch was a lot cheaper than I expected it to be. Got it on Amazon as well. Link will be in the description also. I have several pictures in here. The decor itself is, it'll be evolving as I find things I like that I want to put in here. 
I have the picture behind me. It's a, just a cigar info poster. I bought a frame on Amazon and framed it. And then I have this other picture in here that's one that I actually took when I was in Vegas a couple months ago that just reminds me of my trip. And it was taken at the Monte Cristo Cigar Lounge in Caesars Palace. It's an amazing place. If you're ever in Vegas, stop by, just check it out. You don't have to smoke cigars. You can walk right in, go to the bar. They have a huge TV wall and uh, several different rooms you can sit in and a beautiful um, humidor all glass walls and it's round it's really cool so that that picture it kind of has i don't know if say sentimental but it's it means something to me i took it and i didn't expect it to be a good picture but it ended up being good enough to frame and, and put on the wall and a man cave wouldn't be complete without a tv i'm not a big tv guy i don't have cable here but I got a little little device called mirror screen and basically it uses Wi-Fi signal creates a Wi-Fi signal that you can pick up with your phone and whatever you have on your phone screen you can have on the TV so if you have Netflix on your phone you can have Netflix on any size TV you want and it's it was cheap I don't remember how much it was 10 or 20 bucks that's all you need so I have a 32 inch TV in here fits on the wall nice it might be like a little bit bigger one but I don't feel like spending the money on that right now. It's 32 inches just fine. I'm considering putting another TV on this wall. That way if I have people sitting on both sides, I can have them both TVs on and people can see without having to crank their head around and see what's on the other TV. That's to come, we'll see, we'll see what happens. The chairs I got from Amazon, 114 bucks a piece. They recline and they have a massage function, which I have never used, but they're comfortable, you know, they work, they recline all the way back, almost flat. And uh, I only bought two of them because I wasn't sure how I was going to like them and I wasn't sure how they are going to fit in here. I could buy two more, but there's not enough room to recline both in line at the same time. So I'm probably going to get two barrel chairs and just stagger them diagonally so that if I want to recline, I can recline. And if I have more than two people here, they can sit in the barrel chairs and everybody will be comfortable, have plenty of space. I gotta get some more end tables. I need to get some ashtrays and things, but this is what it is so far. Well, here we are. It's pumpkin season. Plants are started in the grow room. Uh, the greenhouse is almost done. Pumpkin patch is getting close to being ready to go. And lots more videos coming. I'm also gonna be picking up the biochar machine. I know I left that geez, a year ago now. Be picking that up and working on it when I can. Uh, I haven't been able to yet. 2020, like I said, has been total crap. Other than this little gym. But bear with me. It's coming. Pumpkins are coming. It's coming into summer. I just I can't wait. Can't wait to have this quarantine corona crap over with. But this year, I got a lot of projects coming up, and we'll be going full force. So stick around.